Hello there, this week's vlog will be a little bit different uh, than usual uh, because the biggest thing this week was actually this fucking letter. Long story short, uh, it's a letter from our uh, so-called social security uh, institution. Uh, which is basically just a form of theft. And most uh, entre entrepreneurs uh, in Poland obviously get it. They just hate ZUS, because that's how it's called. Uh, Zakład Ubezpieczeń Społecznych. Fuck you. Uh, and most people who are working also should be hating uh, that institution. Uh, unless they don't know that uh, if they earn a minimal wage, uh, then what they pay and what they, their employer pay is basically one third of the money that should be landing in their pockets, but it isn't because it is going to this, in to this in institution. And this institution, um, what it does is basically uh, taking money from uh, the people who are working or who are making business right now, they are taking that money putting into the uh, pockets of people who are right now retired uh, for the promise uh, that when we get old enough, we will uh, be basically uh, getting money the same way. So the younger generation, which doesn't even exist right now, will be, will be paying for our retirements just the way we are paying for the retirements of the old people right now so that's basically how the system works right now so uh all the people who are retired right now are basically just taking money out of our pockets to their pockets uh by uh this this fucking institution so i was wondering uh, is that actually legal i mean is there uh, a reason in our constitution that would constitute uh, that kind of institution like i i was really curious about how the, the, the legal part of, 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 of this whole story, how it was pulled off, like based on what? Because, you know, you do have to have some laws uh, to provide that kind of system. So I was, I was wondering how, how those laws uh, look like. And what I found out uh, is that actually our constitution does not uh, provide that kind of uh, that, that kind of law actually, because our constitution says about obligations. Now, what is an obligation? This was my my, my main reason why I took uh, the experiment that I will uh, tell you about in a moment. Uh, an obligation is basically one side uh, expecting something from the other party. So, if uh, you have this institution, they expect that you will be part of this system, like v v that you will give your money right now in the promise that this system will go on and on and on. So it's like probably like the biggest scam ever you could imagine, like the, the, the biggest Ponzi scheme, uh, scheme uh, like in this country ever created. Like there is no bigger Ponzi scheme than this fucking shit right here. Uh, so I, you know, I made an made an experiment, and I decided uh, that I will see what will happen if I will not oblige myself to this kind of law. Like, okay, you expect that from me, but we live in a democracy. We have a dem democratic constitution, so I, I decide not to be part of this obligation, not to take part in this, and constitution basically gives me that kind of law we, we live in a democracy we have a freedom we, we should have a freedom of choice if we want to uh, engage in those uh, obligations or not and i decided that this obligation is something that i don't want to be part of so uh what happened uh, like uh, two and a half years later and because i've started the company when you start a company, you are obliged uh, to be part of this uh, this six system, and it's basically like one thousand and two hundred slots uh, that you have to pay after two years, and before that, like four hundred four hundred slots. If you're in the U.S. or in the European Union, 
it's basically if you look at look at it proportionally it's basically like you'd have to pay like 1200 euros uh, for just the possibility of uh, you know uh, giving invoices to 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 people like that's basically it like the only thing that you really uh, get is that you can give invoices like that's that's the only thing that you get for this kind of uh, ridiculous money that that we are obliged to pay so that's like that's just dumb shit right as crazy as it may sound uh after two and a half years when i've actually sent uh, a request to ask if i have any um, Uh, unaccomplished uh, obligations like if i have uh, any like fallback payments to 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 you know to give back to this fucked up institution mm, and the funny thing is that actually i wasn't present in their system so that was something different like it's not like w- you, you no longer have obligations but you actually don't exist in the system so after two and a half years of having company i've actually uh, met- managed not to Uh, not to pay for 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 the time that period of time for uh, for my company so obviously that uh, that saved me a shit ton of money uh, but that's not exactly the case because uh, as you understand this 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 obligation thing i think uh, that's going on here um this is not exactly what how it went uh, because once i've uh, filed this 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 question Uh, do I have some un, un, unpaid money for you or whatever? Uh, and they, you know, they're like, well, you don't exist in our system, but hey, you actually had the company. So, you know, they contact me, they phone, they called me and so on, so on. So I didn't want to, you know, just play play hide and seek with them. I said, yeah, I had a company and and it was registered. Like, you know, it was registered. So why the fuck would I even uh, try to hide? Because that would be like one or two months more of... Uh, of 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 just you know sending mails letters and whatever i was not interested in that i was only interested in in, in one simple question um, does uh, the, the legal institutions in this country respect the constitution which is the like the most important law which every other law should obey to well it doesn't because apparently they do have laws which are basically unconstitutional but are not proven to be un- unconstitutional uh, even though you know logic um, but even though um, we just don't give a fuck at least in theory if we live in a democracy if we have freedom uh, if obligation is just expectation of one party towards the other i should have the freedom to decide if i want to be part of the, this obligation or not well Here's the thing, they actually have a law which allowed them to file those declarations because what I did, I basically didn't file a declaration uh, that would state or imply that I want to be part of um, this situation. So if I don't oblige myself to this, so that means that I don't want to be part of it. So if we live in freedom, in democracy, we actually have a constitution and we use this constitution, then I would not have to be, uh, you know, uh, to have to pay uh, this money because I didn't oblige myself to do so. Uh, but then we have a law which actually allowed them to file all that bullshit. It's just, you know, just whatever. Uh, this is basically just every month of my company uh, and declarations for all those months uh, stating that I'm gonna be uh, paying for this. Not because I want it, but because they filed those fucking papers uh, telling me that, you know what, fuck democracy. You know what, fuck your freedom. And you know what, fuck constitution. Because you know why? Because those all fucks who had like 40 plus years to create their own future Uh, and you know give you know back have some sort of a backup plan or whatever like plan like like think ahead or whatever they didn't fucking do this and right now one third of our budget is basically just this shit this shit which is being paid by this kind of bullshit by this kind of fucking theft because that's basically that's basically theft that's nothing else that's just fucking theft uh, in broad fucking daylight So, 
This is something I obviously uh, expected that it could happen. I knew that, it, uh, that this was a real option. But until I had the proof, like, you know, you could say like, you know, whatever, well, maybe, maybe there's some way. So this was the only possible way we could actually pull it off in terms of, you know, using constitution and not having to pay that bullshit. Well, apparently what they have is the laws which actually can make you, uh, which basically just fuck your constitutional rights and uh, and tell you to go fuck yourself because whatever, that's not democracy, that's just on fucking paper. Uh, so this is what we actually have, a democracy on fucking paper and nothing fucking else, like nowhere fucking else, because of this, it's just bullshit. And this is this is probably the the final steps of, of this story, or one of the final steps of, of this experiment is uh, is this fucking letter, uh, probably telling me uh, that yeah, that's that's exactly what it is. Uh, that's a file uh, telling me that they will uh, basically uh, will use uh, the courts and the, uh, the institution that we pay with our fucking tax money, that we basically pay for, so we are basically their, uh, you know, they work for us, we don't work for them, they work for us, that's how it works, you know, uh, in, 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 in countries. So they basically say that the institutions that are funded by our money uh, will try to make me because that's basically what they will try now they will try to make me and uh, make me pay oh let's see how much uh, that's 15,000 15 and a half thousand um, from from 2013 to 2017 uh, yeah, that's just the social security. Now it's the health uh, security. Let me show you how, for example, the food in, 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 in this country looks like for... Uh, because like for two and a half years, they want 12,000 slots. Uh, this is what you get if you actually use the public health uh, in this country. Yes, that's, that's exactly how it looks in this country. Uh, they want 12,000 uh, slots for for that. Um, <laughs> and something that is called the fund of, of the work fund, uh, which goes for uh, 1,000 slots. Well, like, wow. <laughs> and now we file some bullshit, like all the months. Yeah, 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 bullshit, whatever. So basically they just want... Mm, 20. Let me just fix it. Basically, what they want is uh, for me to pay uh, 28,000 slots uh, for two and a half years of possibility of actually uh, giving you a fucking invoice. Um, or maybe if I would get sick uh, eating this kind of delicacies. Mm, amazing. Uh, so yeah, this is this is where we are. This is where where, where we stay. Uh, so um, at least I have a fucking proof. Okay, I have a fucking proof. But democracy in this country is just on fucking paper. And I have some more 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 stuff on that which I can actually show you and and will be available. So check out the description. Uh, and I will also write about it in my book. But right now none of this matters really because that's uh, that's just proof where we are. Uh, so this option of basically just telling you not to file one, one fucking paper and you're off and you're ready to go and you have, you can have a company without paying, vo without paying those fuckers uh, any fucking penny. Uh, well, this doesn't work. It should work like legally, but because of constitution, but it doesn't because of <laughs> we live in a fucking fascist country, like, fucking whatever. But that's the reality. Like if you don't have freedom, if you don't have democracy, then you have fascism. Okay. If they make you do stuff, if they don't give a fuck about your basic constitutional rights, that's basically fascism. So fuck them. Um, but anyways, this, uh, this solution doesn't work. Uh, this solution proves where we are as a country, this solution proves where we are as a society, because if it wasn't for the people who actually 
uh, are dependent on this institution, this problem would not exist, and this problem will be even bigger uh, for for you know for the future generations, for the future years, because our society gets older. So less people working, uh, there will be less people working and more people um, basing on this fucking bullshit. Uh, so so you know the the, the, the system is, is rigged, but the system is also fucked. So it will fall eventually either way until that happens and if you have a company we do have a solution i actually did find it so if you're in poland uh, you can actually easily use it uh, on volnafirma.pl so you will know uh, more about that solution this solution is actually great because it's legal it works uh, it's been tested and there is no problem with any laws existing or the constitutional rights we can actually Mm, arrange it differently which you know we, we have to go, do, do, do some twitches here and there but they are all uh, legal and they are all legally tested so these are the things that I didn't know when I started this experiment but because I made this experiment at least I know that this solution won't work but there are others which I finally found, I know how to organize them, and I will fix them, and I will make them available. And you will find all the necessary information on my website, Tesla Business System, www.tebusi.com. See you next time.